Hello once again everybody, today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to install MC My Admin on CentOS aka Linux. So let's begin. So we go to our little Christy tutorial and basically the first thing you're supposed to do here is as you can see run the following as root you're supposed to run this. So run that. I've already done that. Now here it says make the blah blah blah, we're just gonna not do that because I think this is complete and utter bullshit and it should be considered as such. So now what we're going to do, the reason why in the previous tutorial video where I installed Thermos for Linux, why I put it in a Christy Torrent in Minecraft is because I always put empty my admin before the actual directory so we're gonna do just that. So we're gonna copy the command. As you can see, you basically all I have to do is just copy off the link I'll put in the description. So now we just wait two seconds. Now, we're gonna unzip. And now it asks us, we're gonna delete. We're gonna say yes. Now, what we're going to do here is we're gonna change this to the easiest password ever. It will ask us to change this once we set everything up. So we say yes. Now, the reason why we named this cauldron minus server is because empty my admin in the config file. If you want to run cauldron, aka thermos, you will have to define it as cauldron. So it needs a specific jar file to run, and I believe that empty my admin specifies cauldron minus server as that jar. So now we're going to open the config file. Here we can change the ports, which we're going to be using a different port because that wasn't taken. We can change the maximum memory, in which case we are going to change this, since who the fuck still uses one gigabyte in this golden age. Here we can change the Java custom arguments, which a lot of people use. 99% of servers use this. If you don't use this, you're an idiot. And this is definitely something you need to change. This is supposed to be server, not client. So then we save that. We upload. And now what we do, we're going to do the screen thing again, remember? Screen s infinity dot slash empty my admin Linux. Now we, as you can see it's running. And now we wait a bit. Now you can see, now we log in using our web interface by writing the IP and the port. So we log in by saying admin. Note that this will be removed by the time you're done watching this video, so there's no point in trying to log in it. And now it says your password is too weak because it's being a pussy boy. Now we changed it. Now basically what we do, by the way you can configure stuff here, but you can get to that by yourself, is we press start server. And we switch to the console and we wait for the magic to happen. As you can see it is already loading. FTB infinity. Hopefully it didn't fuck something up. Now we have to wait. Uh, what? Did I do something wrong? Oh, whoops, forgot to set it to collagen in the config, there we go. Now we start it again, and now it should start correctly. That was a little bit awkward from my side, but who cares, I thought I did change it though, I guess I forgot. Anyway, now it should start, as you can see it is actually starting now. Now, like I said, the reason why I name this cauldron minus server is so that it recognizes its cauldron in here. That's the only reason. Plus I'm kinda used to it by now since I've been using it to my admin since like forever. So yeah, now all we have to do is wait for it to start up and show you that the plugins are still there, aka that our essentials plugin is there. And that's about it. You can configure it quite a bit of stuff here. You can also see the plugin that is installed. As you can see, Essentials is installed. 
and then you can see preferences, login users, you can do users and groups, even though I don't know why you want to do that, schedules, etc. So you can do a lot of things with ncmyadmin and that is why I use it myself on my original FTB Infinity server. So now we just wait. As you can also see, there's 10 gigabytes of RAM located. Hopefully this launch is fast. It should be done by now. Yep, here it goes. Bam. As you can see, the version number is broken, and here we go. Bucket compact is from MCMyAdmin and Essentials. So, that sums up this video. Subscribe and like this video for more videos like this, and of course, new tutorials once they come out. See ya.